Hello and welcome to Surrey Resist. Want to know the best players for your Surrey collection from the latest team to be launched on the platform? Then stay tuned and I'll be giving you the lowdown on who's hot in the Boca Juniors team. Plus, a bit of the background on the club as well. Before we get into it, if you're new to the channel or a returning viewer, then welcome. If you like this video, then please do just that by tapping the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and click that notification bell to receive updates. If you haven't signed up to Surrey yet, then what are you waiting for? Get signed up using the link below to get a free rare card and 10 common cards. Right, now that's out of the way, let's get on to the, today's content. So Boca Juniors are obviously the latest team to be launched on Surrey. Um, so obviously, as we know, they're an Argentine team and they're located in La Boca, which is a neighbourhood of Buenos Aires. The club is no, mostly known for its professional football team, which, since its promotion in 1913, has always played in the Argentine Premier Division, becoming the most successful team of Argentina in a number of official titles with 71 to date. National titles won by Boca include 34 Premier Division Championships and 14 Domestic Cups. Boca Juniors also earned an honorary title awarded by the Argentine Football Association for their successful tour of Europe in 1925. They also have one of the most famous players in the world um, once played for them as well in the 80s and that of course was the legend that is Diego Armando Maradona. So they do have a big history uh, one of the most, one of the biggest clubs in Argentina, I would say. Um, so a very welcome addition to the Surrey family. So on to the best players then for Surrey. So I'll be highlighting the best players right here. These are the players with the stats and quality to get you those all important high scores on a regular basis. I will be highlighting players in each position, starting with the goalkeeper first, then defenders, midfielders, and any forwards that catch the eye. So let's get stuck in with the first selection then. So first up I've gone for the goalkeeper. So the first choice goalkeeper at the moment seemed to be Agustin Rossi. He has played the recent games for um, Boca. As you can see here, he has played a few. He well, did play a few on the bench as well. So he may potentially share the goalkeeping duties with the second choice goalkeeper at Boca. But he is only 25, but if he can cement his place in the Boca Juniors team, then he could be a very viable option. In the most recent games, he started four of the matches and also kept two clean sheets in those games as well. So he is capable of keeping some clean sheets. We have a look at the Copa de la Professional as well. Three games started and two clean sheets in that tournament as well. So it does look um, a very good option. It looks like Boca are capable of keeping some valuable clean sheets. So if you look at his scores then, um, as you can see, like I say, there was a period where he wasn't playing in the team, but he does seem to be a regular at the moment. And he's just got some 60s here, which is brilliant. And a few of his scores are around the 40, 40 mark mostly. So it does look a very, very good option there if you are after an American goalkeeper. And he is only 25 as well. The next up then, the first defender that I've gone for is Carlos Isguistos. Uh, it's 32 year old, defender central. Good passing numbers, which I liked. 88% accuracy as well, which is very impressive. And also a high number of interceptions and clearances per game as well. So scores wise, as you can see, this is what we want to see on the average um, numbers. And look at some of these scores here. 99, 88, 98, sorry, 80, 68, some fantastic scores. Uh, you can see that yourself. He is very capable of getting you some regular high scores there. So it does look a very good option. Fair to two, but is 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 expected to play on a couple more seasons yet. So next up, we've got another defender, and that's Lisandro Lopez. 31-year-old, probably a little bit of a better option than his teammate that I've just highlighted there. Um, started four of the games in this recent tournament here. He's also got an assist there, but he's got really good passing numbers again, and accuracy as well. 
but it's also got good inceptions per game numbers, tackles and clearances per game. So he does look a very good option. He's got some good ratings on the um, on Surface Score website as well. He started six games here in the Copa de la Professional. He's also chipped in with a goal as well. And again, his inceptions and tackles and clearances per game all look fantastic. So let's have a look at his scores then. I mean, look at this. It's just a sea of green. That's what you want to see. And look at this. Is is it is. is very rarely getting a low score. He absolutely looks like a fantastic option there for your um, American lineups in defence. So next on the list, we've got another defender, and that's Frank Fabre. He's 30, so he's slightly younger than his last two um, uh, last two teammates there. Um, in the recent competitions, let's have a look how he's been getting on. So he's got a decent score here on. Um, on surface score, he's got 13 games, and he's got some good um, he's got some good creativity numbers here. So he's created four big chances and 1.4 key passes. So he is a left back look, so he does like to get forward um, and obviously fashion out chances for his teammates. So he does look a very valuable option there. Uh, let's have a look at his scores. So he's going to get you some good average scores there. So he's probably a good player to have if you're trying to meet those all-important thresholds. But he is also capable of getting some of the higher numbers as well if you're trying to um, work your way up the, the rankings there. So I don't like him. It does look good. And at 30, he is still the youngest of the defenders that I've highlighted today. So now we're going to the midfielders. Now here we've got Edwin Cardona. Now this guy looks absolutely fantastic. Just from the stats, I can actually tell that he's going to be um, up there with the best, I'd say. He started five games, two goals and five assists. He's, so that is, uh, that is, um, that is uh, absolutely fantastic, I'd say. Shots per game is 2.2 .2 as well. He's also creating a high number of uh, big chances, key passes. Um, so it does look a fantastic option. And if we just look at this, um, the goals and assists notification icons here, as we can see, is banging in goals and assists on a regular basis. But something to bear in mind is he is on loan from a um, Mexican team, Club Tiguana. Um, so that is something to bear in mind. You might have to check the news on that, see if he is due to go back to them when the current Argentina season has finished. Let's have a look at his form in the couple of Brunners. Again, it looks impressive. Four starts, two assists. So in this recent competition, so five, five starts, two goals, five assists. That looks fantastic. And he's also taking the corners as well for Boca. So he does look a very, very impressive um, player. So let's have a look at his scores then on Surrey. Let's see what we're dealing with. Now you look at this and you think, oh, he looks awful. But that's the last five. Okay. Now he has been injured and that is why he was out of these games here. Look. But he is back now. As you can see, he's, he's played a few minutes in this game. 16 minutes, I believe. Yeah, 16 minutes. But when he was playing, look. Look at those numbers. It looks fantastic. And the stats speak for themselves, really. Five games, um, five assists, and for two goals, wasn't it? So it does look, uh, it does look a fantastic option there. He's only twenty-eight as well, but again, you might need to check if he's going to stay at Boca or not, or if he's going back to the Mexican league. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter because obviously the Mexican league is an eligible league on so rare anyway. So let's have a look at our next player then. And this time um, we have got here Christian Pavon. He's only 25. Um, he's very big. He's, he was once a very hot prospect, this guy. I think he's probably past the age of being a hot prospect now. But he did have a lot of rumours in the last four years or so of going to maybe some big clubs. Never really happened for him there. I don't know if that was real choice or if he just wanted to play in his home country. But um, he, is a, he is a fantastic player nevertheless. So in the recent competition then, the Libaderas, he started three games. Um, he's shown some good key passes there to the game. He's also shown some good goal threats as well. 
As you can see, he does like to dribble with the ball, 2.7 dribbles per game, which is good. So he is another guy who has been out injured recently, I believe, but uh, when he does play, he, he, he's shown some fantastic numbers. Let's just have a look at these last four games and just look at some of the numbers where he's played 90 minutes, of course. Now look at this. If we just look at some of these stats, as you can see, a good number of passes there. But he's also getting involved with crosses, key passes. He's also having good goal threat as well. Again, crosses, key passes, good number of passes. Accuracy is also good. This game is um, passes want as higher accuracy, but we're still getting in the ca the key passes, the crosses, and also um, getting in some shots as well. In this game, the similar story really: plenty of dribbles, shots, and key passes and crosses. So he is a very attacking, creative player, um, and I, f I suspect once he's put the injury um, issues behind him, he's going to be a very, very valuable player for Boca. So it does look a good option. Let's have a look at some of his scores that are so rare. So as you can see, these numbers look good for a 25-year-old. Um, here we go, look, there's a period here where he was out. Again, that was through injury, I believe. But when he was playing, look at this fantastic um, sea of green that we can see here. Really does um, look an impressive player. His stats look fantastic as well, which is what we need to be looking for, really. So, yeah, a very, very valuable option. He is a forward on Sir Rare as well. So if you're after a forward, then this guy could be your man. So as you can see, there's plenty of options there. If you like the looks of them, then get them on your shortlist and wait for that next auction to come up. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, then drop them down below. Is there any other videos as well that you'd like to see? Then please let me know. If you enjoyed this video, then tap the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to push that notification bell to be alerted about any new videos. There's also a link in the description below as well if you've not signed up to so Rare yet and you do wish to do that. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.